First thing I want you all to do is understand where the Confederate line was. And I had a plan that I thought was brilliant, which hasn't worked very well at all, and that is I put a line of red pin flags through the fields to mark where the Confederate line was. And we know where it was from looking at the historical maps, which are very precise, from relic hunters who have been digging things up out here for years, and from ex extreme digging, uh, the locals several years ago wanted to find the location of the Confederate entrenchments, and so they uh, used some heavy equipment to excavate, and they found a strip of burned line right at the correct place, a burned ground rather, burned soil, ashes, mm -hmm. and that is probably from the farmers setting fire to the entrenchments. Remember the entrenchments had wood in them and around them, and then they would have had to level the, whatever dirt was left, but there's a, a seared, singed line uh, several feet below the surface, and uh, so that with, my, with the help of the neighbors, I put red pin flags. Now, you can't see them very well from right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna walk right through them, so it'll be obvious to every one of you when we go to our next stop. But if you do squat down and try and put your eye level as close to the ground as you can, you ought to be able to see some red flags in among those crepe myrtles over there, or whatever those things are. I can see one with the naked eye. Dogwoods. If you look to uh, those dogwoods, look to the left of yeah. the third, oh, can... the fourth dogwood, oh, yeah. the tallest dogwood. <laughs> And yeah, you can see yeah. a red one. Oh, I see. Yeah. And yeah. once you see that, you can begin to see some others. Yeah. The person who's straggling there, if you look to the left of him, I can see a red one over there, just to the right of the brick pillars. Yeah. So they're over there. They're over there, and we're going to walk right through them. It'll make more sense in a little bit. But 